Hey guys, today we'll be talking about tyrosine kinase receptors versus non-tyrosine kinase receptors. So this is a drawing of both of them, a schematic, and I'll have this picture on the right side as we go through each of the steps. So first, let's talk about tyrosine kinase receptors. And as we talk about each step, you can look at the image, and on the image, it's the picture that's on the left side. So in the first step, the ligand is going to bind to that receptor, and this receptor is a transmembrane receptor, it's on the cell membrane. So it's going to bind, and this binding is going to cause phosphorylation of that receptor, specifically phosphorylation on the tyrosine residue, which is on the receptor, is going to be phosphorylated. Now, this phosphorylation is going to cause downstream effects of activating the MAP signaling pathway. Once the MAP signaling pathway is activated, that's going to cause more downstream effects until ultimately it's going to activate transcription factors within the nucleus. And this is how this tyrosine kinase receptor pathway works. Now, hormones ligands that actually use this pathway include hormones like insulin and growth factor. Not hormone, growth factor. So make sure you know that. Now, let's talk about that in comparison to non-receptor tyrosine kinase. And that's the picture on the right so non-receptor tyrosine kinases. The ligand is also going to bind on this receptor, which is also a transmembrane receptor. However, there's going to be a key difference here between the two. So when this ligand actually binds, it's not going to cause phosphorylation of the receptor. There's no tyrosine residues on that receptor, but there are tyrosine residues adjacent to the receptor on the jack. So it's going to cause phosphorylation of the tyrosine residues on jack. When JAK is phosphorylated, it's going to cause activation of the JAK SAD pathway, and that's going to have downstream effects of ultimately activating transcription factors in the nucleus. So the key difference here is the receptor itself is not going to be phosphorylated, unlike the receptor tyrosine kinases, which are phosphorylated. And this all happens intracellularly. Now, hormones, ligands that actually use this pathway will include growth hormone. So in this case, it's not a factor. It's growth hormone, prolactin and EPO.